Hey guys, how's it going? Um, today I've got a little video I want to shoot in the garden. Um, I'm not going to go down to the fields today. Uh, it's kind of like too hot today. Um, so what it is I wanted to show you was um, the Jim Shockey shooting sticks. Okay, these are the Gen 3. Um, as you would normally tend to use the, uh, the normal V yoke that comes with these. Um, and also in the pack I think you normally get this little um, adapter as well that uh, you can either put some binos on it or uh, uh, what do you call it um, a spotting scope or camera or something like that so this is just like a camera adapter uh, or tripod adapter so I want to show you something that I think is going to be beneficial for these sticks um, if you don't always want to use this um, v-shaped yoke um, I think with this I imagine probably a lot of people don't use it or probably just sling it in a drawer um, and it just sits there um, but I think there's a better thing better way to use this so I want to introduce you to you the flex light gun pod which is this okay so basically like a, uh, a shooting cradle and uh, I want to show you how I attach it to this uh, Gen 3 shooting sticks okay so just bear with me let me just show you the parts individually and I'll show you how I put them together okay one minute okay so here you have the um, the top of the the trigger stick and uh, normally you would uh, press this this releases the actual uh, V yoke this is to actually um, lock it in so it doesn't move okay so let me just remove that real quick now this is the little fella that's going to make this possible so let me show you the um, the flex light gun pod um, now this is quite a lightweight mechanism um, or gun cradle now it's um, solid aluminium I'm sure it's uh, CNC cut I mean it's very nicely finished and everything now you see these are uh, moving around here now that that's actually uh, it is on purpose so that this conforms to your um, gun stock okay and um, so this is where you would wind this and then uh, loosen it to get it in and out um, and it's very very nicely made now this will take a Arca Swiss mount and also a quarter 20 um, now what I find if you want to use this you need to just take off this little screw I assume that's maybe for the uh, the Arca Swiss or something like that um, but remove that then add this and this is going to let it fit nice and flush okay so take a penny and you can get some good purchase on that so you can really crank it in there so it's nice and tight okay so that's pretty much done now that is going to lock into place let me just show you that again okay and then you just take the uh, the lock there and that isn't going anywhere so that's fully locked in and um, this absolutely works fantastically um, <laughs> even this bronze colour actually goes with the trigger stick itself so okay so what I'm going to do now I'm going to show you a rifle um, probably like maybe two or three different rifles um, I'm going to show you from one of my heaviest rifles um, to one of my kind of smaller lighter rifles as well so um, let me get that set up and I'll show you what that looks like
Okay, so first up is the 2.2. Um, this is a CZ 2.2. Generally easy to carry, has a sling. Um, so I'm gonna put this in the cradle now. You always make sure that it's gonna clear your magazine. So you just set, kind of set it back to where that little um, release is and you can just take it to there and then just okay and then that holds the, uh, the tutu in place okay so like I said you I know this doesn't have a, uh, a ball head um, but it's something that I feel that I don't really need to be fair um, say I want to uh, shoot downhill you just make the trigger sticks angle them down and you can shoot down not a problem you want to shoot up take it out to its full extent and you can and you've got it okay so no issues just have it come back at you and you can just set it to where you need it all right um, so that's the 2.2 um, rimfire. I'm going to show you now the uh, 2.23, which is kind of one of the heaviest rifles that I have. Um, but I don't mind a heavy rifle. Um, but this certainly makes it better to have one of these to hold it. So just give me one second. Okay, so here's the um, 2.23. Not a problem. Plenty of room there for the uh, magazine box. Holds it, no problem. Yeah, you can spin it around, no issues. Like I said, even with a heavy rifle, it takes all the uh, the weight out of it because this is like a third hand. You can now use your left hand or whichever hand you have as as your non-shooting hand. You can steady the, uh, the rifle to bring it up. Again, you've got everything there that you need. Okay, quite easy. Magazine's not loaded anyway. Okay. And away you go. So, and like I said, it holds it really well. Yeah. And you can choose whichever side that you want to have this um, done up with. You can set this on your right hand side, or again, spin it over to your left, if you prefer to use your left hand. Okay, um, I mean, this is a heavy rifle. Uh, as you can sort of see how chunky that barrel is there. Um, but like I said, I don't mind a heavy rifle. So this is the 65 by 47 It is the widest stock that I have uh, on one of my rifles. Um, it really is a, a big fat four, four end this is. Um, but you should find that it should go in here with no issues. And so just find your balance point. I'm not even done it up yet, so there you go. And again, this is probably like close to about 15 pounds this rifle so no issues with weight again you want to take it up you want to shoot it up no problem no issues shoot down no problem okay i think this clamp is amazingly works amazingly with this um these, these trigger sticks um the V yoke is okay, um, but I don't think it's as steady. Um, for quick, very quick shots, um, you've got a deer very close range, and you can take the shot fair enough. That's that's not a problem. But there's no reason why you can't do it with this either. Okay. And these particular trigger sticks, um, I had a sling made for these. Um, I'll just show you. So this is the uh, the carry sling for these. And say 
you've got the um, the original rubber clamp there just to hold the, uh, the legs in place and then you've got your sling and again just sling over your shoulder or across your chest whichever way you want it um, leaves your hands free carry your rifle with your hand or if you've got a sling you can just put your rifle over your shoulder with your sling so easy okay so like I said if you want to carry on using the V-yoke um, don't, get, don't get me wrong it's fine you can just put your rifle in there away you go um, but if you want a little bit more stability and you want to make these shooting sticks just that a little bit nicer um, I totally recommend one of these um, you can get various sizes um, I haven't tried anything else other than this one so but this is the one I wanted uh, specifically it's not that big and um, as you can see tends to sort of match this pretty well um, again field optics flex light gun pod try it see what you think catch you later bye